Hey man. Oh, hey James. How's it going, dude? Oh, it's good. Thanks for having me over. I'm uh, pretty pumped. Taco Tuesday. Yeah, man. I love Taco Tuesday. I'm looking forward to it. What do you got here? Oh, well, you know. Thought I'd just uh, whip up some, some guacamole before we head out. You know, a little appetizer kind of a thing. I, I love guacamole, especially yeah. when it's you know, freshly made like this. Totally. Table side. Yeah, it's like a fancy restaurant. Right on, man. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, do you do this often? or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, people love this. This is great. You make this for people. Yeah, they have people over all the time. And... Uh, you know, they just, they seem to can't get enough of it. Really, they like, they like this. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's all good stuff, man. Do these, uh, these people come back? Oh. No. No, they don't. Welcome to another episode of Hot Shot Chefs. Today we are making guacamole, and if you haven't seen already, we have a video on how to break down an avocado, which is the base of our guacamole. That's right. And along with the avocado, there's a wide range of ingredients that can go into any guacamole. Some like to keep it simple, some like to be on the more complex side of things. We're going to be throwing in quite a few different things, kind of give it a little kick, a little spice, and just really round out all the different flavors that are typical in kind of Mexican cuisine. So for our ingredients, obviously we're gonna be using avocado and you can see some of the choices we have here today. Two different types of onions, you can use a red onion, you can use a yellow onion, you can use a sweet onion, whatever you like. We got some jalapeno peppers over there, any pepper will do. Uh, we got a little bit of lime we can garnish with. Uh, we also got some cilantro, which gives you that classic Mexican cuisine taste. And uh, I can also kick it up with a little bit of seasoning, which could be cumin, salt and pepper, a little bit of chipotle we have as an option today, whatever you like. Don't forget, we also got a couple of tomatoes we're gonna toss in there as well. With all those ingredients, we're actually gonna be using today mortar and pestle, a little table side way of doing it, a little fancier. Um, there's a kind of a order of operations when you're using a mortar and pestle. You're gonna wanna start with some of your more firmer ingredients so like the onion the pepper and you're going to follow that up with the tomato the avocado itself and the cilantro and just mash all that stuff individually and it brings out the real flavor in each ingredient it makes it blend well when it's all together after we get all those ingredients mixed in then we throw in our seasoning and it'll be all set to go hey guys so we've gone ahead we got everything broken down minced in, in the smaller pieces, we've got our tomato, we've got our jalapeno, and we even decided to throw in a little extra, a few cloves of garlic, just to kind of increase the flavor that much more. And then of course the onions, all that minced together, smaller pieces make it easier to mash together, which is what we're getting ready to do right now. While we do that, a little bit of beer. Why not? As you saw, we took all our ingredients, put them in our mortar, mashed them all up, got them mixed together so they could all come out in little vibrant flavors. And here we are with our delicious guacamole. You check it out. It's got a lot of color, all mashed together. And little fun fact, as you saw, there's a pit we threw in it. It helps to keep the guacamole from turning brown. It won't keep the whole thing from turning brown, but if you throw a few pits in there, the immediate area around the pit, keep it from turning brown. Kind of looks cool, gives it a little aesthetic appeal to it. It's up to you, it's your guacamole. So here we have it. It's a great little side dish for any party, get together, or just enjoy it all by yourself. Which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna eat this whole thing and we're gonna start right now. That's right. Try this out.
Mm. So fresh. Better than anything you get store bought, that's for sure. There are so many different flavors we put in here, as you saw. Forget the simple stuff. We like to go that extra step and add the additional ingredients because it does make a difference. I mean, layers and layers of flavor. We get the boldness of the cilantro that comes through, a little bit of the heat from the jalapeno and the chipotle pepper we threw in there. And then a little bit of that extra garlic that we tossed in last minute, really rounded it off nicely. Let's get diving in some more here. Hope you enjoyed our guacamole episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep trying out our recipes and subscribe to our channel. And stay tuned for the next episode of Hot Shot Chefs. Now that we've gone through this whole process, you kind of understand what you were doing wrong, right? I mean, this is good, but I don't know, I think it was kind of on the right track the way I was doing it. It worked, Chris. We are doing close. No, I mean, I got it all mashed together and everything. You left the skin on, the onion, the avocado. There was no preparation to what you were doing. I, it adds extra fiber. Do you think there was a surprise as to why nobody was coming back to your little parties and get-togethers? Your uh, guacamole sucked. Mm. People, people are never going to come back. Never going to come back. They don't want your stupid mushed up whatever you were doing. Oh, oh yeah? No. Yeah. No, they'll Actually, come back. I'll get them to come back. Who came back? No one came back. Everybody comes back eventually. Yeah. No, they don't. They never did. They never will. Not with that. What? You know, you're going around, no, no, no. You're going around, we're the hot shot chefs, and you're making this behind my back for a little bit of parties? Uh, you know... No one's going to think we have any credibility if you're just throwing stuff in your little mortar and pestle and mashing it. Oh, my God. Whatever, Jay. You know what? Take your stupid guacamole, eat it yourself, drink your beer. I don't even care anymore.